Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. So in today's tutorial, uh, we will see how we can install uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So uh, this is the reference link as you all can see on my screen, uh, docs.microsoft.com where you can find a lot of content. So if you want to refer any, any details, uh, you can go to this link and you can refer that. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we have some points listed out here. So uh, it is a RDBMS. RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System and uh, that is developed by Microsoft. So Microsoft SQL Server is uh, developed by Microsoft and it can be used to store, uh, manage, query and retrieve the data from the database. Right. So it has a user interface and it can be accessed through, uh, you know, command line as well. So you can access them uh, through a GUI or graphical user interface as well as it provides you a facility to access it through a command line as well. Uh, then uh, we have SQL Server for different platforms like Windows, Mac, uh, Linux. So we can say that it's a kind of you know platform uh, dependent uh, uh, tool. Okay. So, uh, but in this tutorial today we will see how we can install uh, the server on Windows platform. So it supports SQL. SQL is a structured query language. Uh, that is a language which is used to retrieve uh, you know the data from the databases and uh, uh, we can create and create databases we can maintain databases uh, in this particular uh, software and it has various components like ssas for analysis ssrs for uh, reporting purposes etc right so uh, after installing the sql server uh, we uh, we can install you know ssms so ssms stands for sql server management studio so that is nothing but an integrated uh, environment uh, you know for managing all the infrastructures and uh, you know servers to sql databases etc so similarly like we have you know eclipse so it's a kind of ide similarly for uh, accessing the uh, sql server database uh, we can use ssms so that is sql server management studio right so uh, th these are the two links uh, from where you can you know access or download uh, uh, the particular software so say for example SQL Server 2019 uh, this is the download link and this is the particular server that we will install in this tutorial so if we copy this link and uh, let me show you right so if you open this URL you will get a link uh, like this where you can you know see different options like SQL Server on Azure uh, at the edge on premises or you can download a free specialized edition as well so we have two editions listed out here one is developer edition and one is express edition right so a developer edition you know has a more uh, kind of features and uh, uh, basically used for development and test databases in non-production environment uh, whereas sql server 2019 express is a free edition of sql server ideal for development and production for desktop web and small server applications so for our tutorial uh, we will download the developer edition so if you click on you know, download now so uh, uh, the link will open and you know it, it will start uh, downloading this particular file dot exe file so i have already downloaded it and uh, so uh, then we will uh, see how we can install that so this is the link for sql server and if you go here this is the second so second is the link for ssms right so there are two options actually ssms you can install from here as well separately or when you will install uh, this 2019 sql server after the installation is complete there itself you will get a link to install ssms as well right so both ways you can do you can install it separately or you can install it with 2019 that we will uh, be seeing in a couple of minutes right so uh, yeah so these are some important points so uh, let's uh, go and uh, see how we can install uh, the particular software that is sql server 2019 